You can ride our beautiful public transport here in Prague for free! Yes! If you're over 65, if you haven't reached the age 15 yet, or if you're accompanying a kid that is below the age of 3. We're the Honest Guys of Prague and today we're going to show you different tips and tricks on how to either enjoy stuff for free or how to get some great discounts. Food, sightseeing, attractions, we got it all, let's dive right in. Now obviously the free comes at a price, uh, meaning the price is that you need to have an ID to prove your age if you want to ride the public transport for free. So if you have an ID, a driver's license that shows you're over 65, or if you're a kid, you also need to prove your age unless it's like an obvious that it's like a newborn baby. Important to mention that public transport in Prague is not only the trams, the metro, the buses, the trolley buses, it's also the funicular up to the Pepsi lookout hill and also the little fairies. Now I'm sure that many of you watching who are over 65 are now like, yeah, that's awesome, free public transport. But what about those who are under 65 and they still want to pay the local prices? Well, obviously you can buy different single tickets or you can buy a day ticket or a three day ticket, but you can get something that is called Litachka. PID Litachka is the name of an app you can get to your iPhone or your Android. We all use it, people of Prague. And we buy our passes either for a month or for a year. Obviously, we have a year pass, but you can get a month pass for 22 euros. So if you come to Prague for more than four or five days, it will pay off. But on top of that, if you have that app, the Litachka, and you have the coupon for a month in it, you get a lot of discounts. Now you do get small discounts there and back. You're gonna get one euro off visiting any of the Prague Towers. You're gonna get 5% off of the Prague Zoo. But if you wanna visit, for example, the Jewish Museum of Prague, you get 50% off. Or if you wanna visit the Lobkowitz Palace, I will, he's my friend, he gave us a tour. You get 50% off. So maybe if those places are on your list I want to visit, then you should consider getting the Litachka. And that's not all. Now imagine you have that app, Litachka, but the tram you were waiting for, it just goes away. And you're like, damn, like, what am I gonna do now? Well, there's another option for you that is included in that app. Let me show you. Now, this is a tip if you really wanna roam Prague like a local. If you have that app that has the monthly pass for the public transport, and you connect it with an app that is called Recola, a pink app for these bike sharing services, you get two 15 minute rentals of these bikes a day for free. Prague is a city of a hundred spires and I absolutely love to go on top of them for the amazing view. Many of them you can visit, but the tickets can be pricey. For example, uh, the Old Town Hall costs 12.5 euros to get on top of. So I'm sure you're asking for the discount. Well, you already have one. If you have that monthly pass for the public transport, that will give you a discount of one euro. Not enough? Well, here's a tip slash trick. If you visit the towers in Prague in the first hour when they open, you get a 50% off early bird special. Yep, it's exactly 10 a.m. on the first person, or one of the first, to climb up the stairs of the tower. And it also means uh, that I'm gonna pay only half uh, for the entrance. Not only do you get 50% off of your ticket, but if you happen to come here this early in the morning, 10 a.m., you also will be here by yourself, which is the case I'm in right now. And the view, as usually, does not meet my commentary. Or if you are really, really, really into towers, you can actually buy a pass that will allow you to visit all the Prague Towers but it will cost you 42 euros. If you break it down to every single tower, it is a good deal, but only if you wanna visit all of them. The pass is valid for a full year, so you'll have plenty of time to do so. Now, how to save some money in Prague when you wanna eat, when you wanna have a lunch? Well, here is our tip. You gotta find and look for something that is called the daily menu. Uh, in Czech, it would be polegni menu denny nabitka. Oh, and you're also surprised the meal is already here? We are too. 
Now, I bet you've been to a restaurant before and you were handed one of these, a menu. The menu has different meals, uh, different options, and quite often there is an extra page that is sort of inserted in it. It usually is also displayed on a board outside or on the door. And quite often in the Czech Republic, it's only in Czech. And that's how you can tell that's the daily menu and the prices are much lower. Now, the selection is limited. In this case, they have a daily menu for the entire week. So you see they have three choices for every day plus a soup. And quite often they have a limited amount of portions. So once they run out of them, they just cross them over. And also the menu usually only applies from like 11.30 to 2 p.m. Now we're not really into happy hours in our country. I don't recall a place that has happy hours, but we are crazy about the daily meals, daily menus, poledni nabitka. That is our happy hour. A lot of people work around here, so they use restaurants for their daily menu, daily lunch. That's why the prices are lowered for them, so they can enjoy the meal at a good price. Speaking of the price, uh, this meal and the drink uh, was around 7 euros. You can get as low as 6 euros in some places. Uh, and also, uh, let's talk about the food. No, I'm not going to talk about the actual meal, the dish that we got, because it changes uh, from day to day. So if I would tell you this was delicious and you would come here a week later and you would say, I want the thing that Janek had, they would just tell you, well, go back in time, because we change the meals on the daily menu daily. Now this is a good deal. And you know what is also a good deal? A deal from Surfshark VPN from The Honest Guide because if you use our link below the video in the description or our code, you can get the service for three months for free. Now, what's a Surfshark VPN good for you ask? I'll give you an exact specific example just from the past week from my friend. So my friend wants to watch something and he goes out to the Twitter and he goes, look guys, I'm using this VPN service and this VPN service and I just can't get around the geo block on the site I want to see. And I reach out to him, I'm like, uh, have you tried Surfshark VPN? He was like, I did not. So I get him hooked up and he replies back, Damn, Yannick, Surfshark is the only one who got me around and it's working. So I love these examples. Uh, he was a happy, he sent me a happy GIF. Uh, so you can try it as well. Uh, as I said, the link is below in the description. And if you face a situation where you're limited on the internet in terms of GeoBlock, Surfshark will solve it and you can use it on unlimited devices. You know what's also unlimited? My hunger. Let's eat. Now, there are other ways how to save money on food, and I'll give you one example. We're in one of the vegetarian restaurant chains where you, it's like a buffet, you get the meals on a plate and then you wait it. And one hour before closing time, not to waste food, they will give you a 40% discount. I know a few places that uh, does this, like uh, Sushi Time, and there's also uh, this place that sells the traditional Czech chlebičky. One hour before closing, they got 50% off. I'm sure there's more, uh, so you can just look around for those kind of discounts. Admiring the beautiful architecture in Prague is for free, but I have a better tip for you. Enter that building, because that hides something you're gonna love. Now imagine if I told you that there's a place in Prague that will give you money for free. Yep. Welcome to the Czech National Bank. This is the free money. It's shredded, it's uh, worthless, but it's a nice souvenir. And they just recently opened this exhibition that's free to enter, open to public, and it's great. We just walked through, and especially if you're maybe with younger kids, they will love it. But for you, you get to learn a lot about not only the history of our currency, but also nowadays and inflation and stuff like that. A lot of stuff here. Pedal to keep inflation near the 2% target. So it's, this is how they decide about inflation here? Okay. If you're curious where the Czech National Bank keeps all the money, it's right here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The rest is over here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the entire exhibition is in English, and it's not only this one floor. There's that golden staircase that leads somewhere. Let's see what they're hiding. Whoa, camo. In the safe part of the exhibition, they're still hiding something from us. So let's see what's under it. Here's a golden brick that is worth around 700,000 euros. 
and we were told the box was designed in a way so you cannot like take it out of there. They're smart and it's very, very heavy. This part of the exhibition is protected by a serious safe door. This door weighs more than eight tons and despite the fact that it says do not touch, they do touch it and in the evening they actually close it. It's a working safe because there's that golden coin that is worth 100 million crowns. That's this in euros. So that's why they close the door. Moving on to the next free adventure by foot because it's free and I am a foot walking influencer here in Prague. Walk. Now let's say you want to buy a souvenir and save money at the same time. Well, here's our tip. How about you find this antique bookshop that we walk past every day and they have these boxes uh, in the walkway. Uh, each piece is 10 crowns, which comes down to like 40 euro cents. And we just found this awesome old guidebook and a map of Prague. 40 euro cents, that's a bargain, I love it. It has the old names of the streets, so it's absolutely useless for a tourist, I just realized, because it's from the communist era. But if you want to pick up a map, that's for free, so you won't get lost in Prague, just grab one off the street. <laughs> Maps are everywhere. The whole world is a map in a scale one to one. Now, I don't want to bore you with another free exhibition here in Prague. That's why I'm going to show you a free exhibition that will not bore you and will entertain you. We are in the center of architecture and metropolitan planning, which is an exhibition space that is always open for free, and there are always different exhibitions regarding our city of Prague. Uh, now, this half year, the exhibition is regarding the river. That's why I'm sitting in this swan. I can put on these virtual glasses and actually go on a tour with my friend architect, who will tell you more about different projects that are being developed around the river. You can walk along the river here in the space and you can use this UV light to find different uh, streams that actually flow into the river. Also this, this huge projection screen with five 4K projectors that are showing different historical footage once again regarding the river. I absolutely love it. By the way, since this is an exhibition regarding the river, if you would take the entire river in Prague and split it among the people of Prague, each of us would get exactly this portion. If you're curious where there's so many people here, the reason is not only you can read books for free here, but there's also free Wi-Fi. After you're finished with the free exhibition, you can obviously sit down for a coffee because part of the camp is a coffee place. And they have a good espresso or an iced latte. And if you collect their stamps, you'll get your seventh coffee for free. Almost there, Honza. Don't you just love how we like get to a table and it's already ready for us there? I love it. The tips we're giving you today are ones that we locals use on daily basis. Now, we may not know all of them, so maybe if you used some discount or you know a good free venue in Prague, let us know in the comments, uh, or maybe some Czechs can share more insight and more tips with you. We try to be as honest with you as possible, that's why we go by the honest guides. Honza is behind the camera, I'm in front of it, my name is Yannick. Uh, and we can see each other next week on our channel, The Honest Guide. If you hit subscribe and that little bell, you'll be notified. I'll see you then. And in the end, I'm gonna teach you a Czech word and that is how to say noon. Noon is poledne. Poledne is noon. Uh, so quite often you will see poledni menu, which is the noon menu, the daily menu.